Motherfucker, you look like the cat who ate the canary. This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. Yeah, sure thing. I get it. But don't forget, my guys stepped up for you. They're working that hideout like it was already theirs. And it should stay that way. Considering I've got men in the area as well, it looks as if you're trying to keep us guessing. When you finish listening to the Who's Got the Bigger Pecker contest, I'll be here ready to take over this part of the city. You gotta see all the angles, Lincoln. Don't leave me with blue balls here, boy. What's the... You need to show me you serious about working together. So far, I ain't seen shit. Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh bucatini for you. Calling this one for Scaletta. About fucking time. Always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. If I stay here any longer, my head's gonna fucking explode. Y'all can sit out the next one, because I'll be damned if it ain't coming to me. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Come on, come on, let's go. Turns out there's at least one sane motherfucker in Marcano's crew. Enzo Conti back to way clean. No one's moving anything through Barclay Mills without paying up to us. Things are humming along in a holler. Of course, it's the only district I had to focus on so far. I say it's time to throw these rackets here my way. I'm fine with occasionally splitting things when we gotta lock the auction down. But continuing to ask my boys to do work that's gonna put money in someone else's pocket. That's when we tread into areas they don't care for. The Irish deserve to hold on to this piece of the city. We're on a good run here, Lincoln. I see no reason anything should change. Now, not using my guys to lock down a district makes it real fucking messy if you want us to run shit, but hell, you pay me to clean up the mess. We know the struggle in ways others don't understand. Who's it gonna be, Lincoln? Remember, you asked me to be a part. You get it? Anytime you want to make... Calling this one for Scaletta. I've had enough of this shit. You're a lying, cheating bastard for dragging me into this. You preyed on my fucking sympathies and I'll never forgive you for it. Come on, Irish. Relax. You've been around the block enough to know it's just business. There's only so much shit on an Irish man can take before he wipes it from his eyes and comes at you with both barrels. I see you clearly now, Lincoln. And it's time you made this right. Never thought I'd say this, but Burke's right. You can't keep leading us on like this, Lincoln. Not for much longer. You made your point, Burke. Now that's enough. Y'all don't have to like the decisions I make. And to be honest, your egos are the least of my fucking concerns. Way I see it, you fall in line or you fall out altogether. Now let's go make some fucking money. You and I are on the line here, Lincoln, and I'm expecting good things. I don't give a flying fuck who has what rockets. This turf, it's mine, goddammit, and I won't accept anything else. I can ask you to be patient, Burke, and give everyone a chance to weigh in on this. Why should I give a damn about the concerns of this motherfucker or that motherfucker? Lincoln, I want this turf, and I don't give a shit whose panties get all knotted up over it. You can't make decisions based on emotionally unstable cocksuckers like Burke. And you proved that by having me lock down the rackets here for you. Don't lose sight of that now. You got one more ring to the chamber. Last chance. No turning back from this one. Anytime you want to make a call, I'm good with that. You give the territory to that drunk, I'm gonna need to reconsider this whole thing. Who's it gonna be, Link? I hope we can get things back on track, Burke, but we're not gonna do it with this part of the city. Vito's gonna call the shots there. What a sad, miserable fool I am forever believing in you. But there will be no more of my foolishness. The next time I see your black hide, it will be at the end of my goddamn gun. That Mick ain't got nothing on me. You wanna see what pissed off really looks like, motherfucker? Keep fucking with me, wasting my time. The Mick is gonna be a problem. Until he ain't. Understand? If Bert can't fall in line, ride things out when they don't go his way, then he's not the partner we need. I'll deal with him. Ugh. 
Oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn it all the hell. Oh. You're a hell of a shot. I'll grant you that. You didn't oh. have to be this way, Burr. Oh. I know who I am, lad. What I am. You look in the mirror, wanting to see the man you should be. Hoping that if you catch a glimpse of him, it'll help you turn things around. But wishing on something, don't make it so. <coughs> no matter how hard you try, it's always the same worthless piece of shit gazing back at you. <coughs> oh. What do you want me to say to Nikki? Oh, the truth. Not that it'll come as any goddamn surprise to her. She'll be all alone there. You know what that means. They'd be better than anyone else. Just be a good lad. Keep an eye on her, all right? Keep her safe. She deserves that much. You have my word, Burr. Uh, just gonna. Just gonna. Just gonna. Just gonna sit here for a moment. word on book. Guess I ought to temper my own expectations. I took care of our Irish problem. Now let's get down to business. I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. You got a plan, a reason you're working things the way you are, and I respect that. After busting my ass on the last district, I came in and took care of half of this one. I see no reason I can't handle the whole thing. Half this goddamn district is mine. And if you try to hand it off to Vito like you did last time, brother, you gonna be in a world of pissed woman. Who's it gonna be, Lincoln? I'm tired of being snuffed by you. Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh bucatini for you. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. God damn it! You no different than Marcana, Georgia, or Sammy. Except because you had a real chance to do some good for the holler. But you turned your back once again on the people who loved you. Sorry to say this, pal. Really, I am. But she's gotta be done. I know. I'll take care of her. Don't worry. For now, we're done here. I'll circle up with you later on. How you doing, kid? My guys told me about Cassandra. I'm sorry that it come to that. Pull up a chair. Cassandra won't cause us any more trouble. Let's talk business. 
Come on in. This city's gonna learn that their dear old Uncle Lou didn't die out there in the swamps when his riverboat sank. And with Lou dead, Sal's gonna be scrambling to figure out his next move. Meanwhile, we're gonna take control of the plow house, the cistern, and all the drinking and fucking in the French ward. Let's see how this stacks up with the rest. Goddamn, I never get tired of making money. Well, I hope you can handle it, Vito, because I got no other options. Gotcha. I'll get this aligned with the rest of the action we got running. I'll let you know when I need you. <laughs> All hail the motherfucking king! Nice work out there. The entire goddamn city's buzzing about what we done to Meccano. Couldn't have done it without you, Vito. Now we control what happens next, the direction the city takes. You've impressed the fuck out of me, kid, seriously. Ain't no one more stand-up than you. I'm proud as fuck to be a part of this. This last piece of the city goes to you, Vito. You've earned this and more. No shit. I'll notify the papers of this shocking turn of events. Indulge me for a second here, I got something to say. You and me, we knew it wouldn't be easy. And that, more than likely, we'd suffer some losses along the way. But we made it. Now all we gotta do is figure out how the fuck to keep a hold of it. I know none of this has gone quite as smoothly as we would have liked, but you've done something real over these last few months. Changed this town in a major way, and I'm proud as hell of you. Hey, don't sweat the Mick and the voodoo princess. They were nothing but trouble from the start. Fuck them. May they rest in peace. Fuck. Fuck. You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. Well, we ain't exactly Empire Bay, but I hope you can find some joy running things here. Might need you to help smooth things over with the commission. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Him and Georgie both. Ha <laughs> It's the best news I've heard in ages. Can we get an amen, Padre? So, what happens now? What do you mean, what happens now? It's over. Done. Finished. I ain't talking to you. Just cause Sal McConnell's dead, Lincoln, doesn't mean it's over. Now, what you did and the size of it all, you created a storm in this here city, and it's gonna take a long time for it to dissipate, if it ever does. With Marcano dead, New Bordeaux belongs to me. Ain't nobody left to stand in my way. <laughs> you, you can't be serious. The, the point of this wasn't to replace Marcano, it was to remove him. This city's done gone through enough. It doesn't need another you, Sal Marcano. You, this city, you've got to be fucking kidding me. This city is a cesspool. It's where people come to fuck and drink and get high. You watch your filthy mouth. That's what the city is, Padre. If it's not giving another Sal Marcano, it's going to shit one out. He's right. If it ain't going to be me, it's going to be somebody else. Probably somebody worse. Amen. Thank you. You remember what you told me when you came back from the war? How, how you wanted to, to, to go to California? Leave all this behind? And just start all over? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Well, it ain't too late, Lincoln. You can still go. Go. And don't look back. Listen, I'd love to stay here and debate the merits of one crime boss over another, but I've got a schedule to keep. Bit of advice, though? The scumbags you've been working with, kill them. All of them. Bury them before they bury you, buddy. Oh. I'll be seeing you, Padre. God forgive me for standing by you through all this, Lincoln. But if you do anything except leave, we're finished. You hear? 
A man's soul can only carry so much. And mine is on the verge of breaking. Sal and Georgie are gone. And after all the shit we've been through, we run this city. After all the bullshit, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my brain around the fact that we actually did it. You're a fucking saint, Lincoln. And I'm honored to know you. It ain't personal. kill those people he worked with. I realized that he was no different from Sal Marcano. So I put a bomb under his car. The things he did that what he turned into couldn't. I did some things in my life. Things that I regret. But killing Lincoln Clay isn't one of them. He carved his path out all on his own. After everything he did, all the people he killed? No, no. The car bomb was too quick, too clean. Sometimes I wonder when that priest, Father James Ballard, he identified the body. You know, some nights when I'm down here, going over it all again, I swear I hear footsteps upstairs that sound like combat boots. No, I, 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 I know it's just this old house creaking and moaning. But when it happens, can't help but wonder if it's Lincoln Clay coming to take what's left of my life. Sal and Georgie are gone. And after all the shit we've been through, we run this city. After all the bullshit, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my brain around the fact that we actually did it. You're a fucking saint, Lincoln. And I'm honored to know you. We're not here because of what I did, or because of what any of y'all did. We're here because we stood together. And as long as we stay strong, ain't no one ever gonna fuck with us. After he killed Sal Marcano, Lincoln Clay took over. But he wasn't content just to run the city. He expanded out across the South into Florida and even the Carolinas. There's so much money coming in, and he's been smart with it. 
and spreads it around, makes sure the right people get paid and stay paid. The city's favorite son, hmm? Yeah. Rebuilding the hollow, buying up Frisco Field, reopening the theme park, all that money and goodwill. He thinks it's made him untouchable, but no one is untouchable. He might have plastered his name across a few schools and hospitals, uh, made donations to a charity here and there, but nothing absolves him of his crimes. That's why I agreed to do this documentary. I want to shine a light on the real Lincoln Clay. Lincoln gave in to everything. Drugs, booze, prostitutes, you name it. He made a dollar. He was involved. Seeing him on the news, strutting around. Sometimes I... I think he should have died over at Sammy's with all the rest of them. That'd be uh, kind of a piece in that. After Lincoln vanished, Vito Scaletta took over the city. Now he spit on Sal Marcano's grape one last time by actually doing what Marcano couldn't, finishing the casino. Now two years later, Scaletta opened another casino and then it was just an avalanche of development. Hotels, um, arenas, the new convention center, I mean, today, everyone knows this place as the Las Vegas of the South, but the whole damn thing was built on bodies Lincoln Clay left behind with blood money he and his lieutenants stole from the mob. And Vito? He still lives in that penthouse at the top of Marcano's casino, looking out over the city he owns. After San Marcano's death, Lincoln Clay disappeared. <laughs> the Bureau deprioritized the investigation after a few months, but uh, I keep an active file. In 1971, I tracked him to a California shipyard where he was working under an assumed name. By the time we got there, though, he was gone. Uh, the trail went cold, and by 77, 78, I figured he was dead. But then I got a report of someone matching his description working with the Colombians. Since then, uh, there's a new sighting of him every couple of years. Lincoln made it out to California, worked at the shipyards for a few years. Met him a woman. Seemed like he was going to get married, but then it, it all came apart. Don't know why. And he started moving around. He went to Alaska, New York, South America. He even went back to Vietnam. Hmm. I, I still get postcards from time to time. You know, I think Lincoln wasn't able to, uh, Accept the world 
for what it is, or his place in it. Someday, he's going to get tired of running, or make a mistake, and I'll be waiting. I promise you that. <laughs>